how's it going today? Ian back here with you, Entertainment Examiner. Hey, so um, this yesterday, which I'm, I'm filming this on Friday, so Thursday yesterday, the 19th of July was the big date for the release of the SCCC, San Diego Comic Con, Funko Pop collection in various stores and online sites from FYE, Amazon, Box Lunch, Hot Topic, GameStop, um, Barnes & Noble, and several others. Um, I'm, I, 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 um, in terms of Funko Pop collecting, um, I have a few sets. I have the Lord of the Rings set, and I have the full Jurassic Park set, and a few other smaller sets. I have the four guys from um, Metallica, and I have uh, the Silicon Valley set. Um, I, I usually go for sets that are smaller and that I don't have to, you know, search the ends of the earth to try and find all of them. So, um, I got a few of the um, SDCC Pops. I did some pop hunting yesterday, and that was really fun. Um, I met some really cool people in the stores that I went to, and I still enjoy going out shopping for stuff. Um, you know, it's, you know, I mean, you can order on the internet to your heart's content, but sometimes it's just fun to get out and talk to people. And, um, anyway, um, I want to, uh, I'll do my, my Hot Topic ones first. Um, first one I got is Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation in his kimono. So that was cool. I'm a big Parks and Rec fan, and I love Ron Swanson, played by Nick Offerman, of course. Of course, all these have the um, SDCC Funko Summer Convention exclusive sticker. Here are all the ones from the set. So that was a cool pop. This, the second one I got from Hot Topic was it, it, it's a really heavy pop. It is a 8-bit pop, which I actually don't like these pops, but I think that this character from this movie looked really cool, and that's Wreck-It Ralph, and they're doing a Wreck-It Ralph too. This is a, a very heavy pop. I don't know if you can tell from me dropping it, but it's it definitely, I mean, there's that one, and there's this is a very heavy pop, and I like this pop a lot, um, and, and I think Wreck-It Ralph, since he's kind of a throwback to the old video game years, I think he works as an 8-bit really, really well. Um, Yes, you got uh, Fix It Felix is uh, was also an SDCC exclusive too. So there's Wreck It Ralph. Now, as I said, there's a Wreck It Ralph two coming out soon, which is cool. Um, Barnes and Noble, I got Ant Man, like old school Ant Man, like early comics Ant Man. That's a Barnes and Noble exclusive. I was I didn't find it right away. Then when I was leaving, my eye caught like the front, the very, very front of the store where they had a whole table set up with these, so I was really happy to find one. Um, I, I really like Ant-Man and the Wasp recently, and I like the look of the, the old look of the um, Ant-Man. So there's the, the side of the box, and there's the other ones in the set that you can get. Um, and then finally, the two I went to GameStop for. Um, I, I also tried to find the Thor... Odin Force on Amazon. I could not get that. I tried to find the Elena Tyrell from Game of Thrones um, box of lunch exclusive. I was not able to get that. And I tried to find the Dustin from Stranger Things, which I might still hunt for that one, see if I can find it, where he's at the, the uh, snowball dance with his hair. I thought that was a cool looking pop. Um, so, but the two I did find at GameStop were this one, this is probably my favorite. I have one similar to this, I got my Marvel Collector Core box, but I like the whole body shape of this better. This is Iron Man Mark One, Very early Iron Man. This is part of the 10 year, um, Marvel Studios, uh, they're doing a 10 year pop set. Which I'm not planning on getting all of them, but it's needs to it's be from be from the original Iron Man. That's a really cool pop. And then I got the last one they they had. I like this one when I saw it available from DC Comics Red Hood. This is the last one the GameStop had that I went to, so I did really was excited to get this. Um, there weren't a whole lot of pops the, this time around that I was super excited to get but um these ones definitely were ones i thought were really cool and um, i was on i decided about the wreck it ralph one but it looks so, so but it looks so cool in the store i thought why not and then um red hood i think this is a very cool pop should 
show that off again for you. So the, those are the pops I received um, for the SDCC exclusives. Uh, if I get any more, I'll share them. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get the other ones I've been looking for. As I said, um, it wasn't a big, exciting year for me personally for pops. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I have to have these, you know, for my collection. But I, I'm really happy with this set I got. And, and, and as I said, if I get more, I will let you know. So um, let, let me know down in the comments what pops you guys got. Um, did, did you get any of these or do you like these pops? Or um, I'd love to know if, if you got different pops and if you're happy with, with your purchases, what you think of them after you, after you uh, got your hands on them. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.